Did you ever find yourself having a problem when you're shading? When you draw, it always seems off and having a flat stiff draw. Well, you're missing out because there's a way to fix that and be good at shading. The answer to that is to get a proper hatching technique using curve hatching. So first thing first, don't you ever start hatching straight lines. Hatching straight line is basically can be ruined in drawing. And so that's causing you having a flat and a stiff drawing. You may not even notice that because you're always not thinking the way you shade. So take a step back before you render your drawing, think of its contour so that you could have a more dynamic way of rendering. I experienced this a lot on my past drawings and it may seem good, but nope, it is not. They are so stiff. Now that I realized that shading with straight lines are not in a good way to hatch your drawing, I see that a lot from other artists and it's probably fine because we have a different ways of shading right but still if you want a better shading you can just stick with the curve hatching So hatching a curve line like this, it is more like a drawing a hair. So it is also important to make it more like a V shape if you're hatching because this helps to have a unique and solid technique on your shading rather than a common hatching right. So this gives an extra dynamic texture on my drawing which is great for shading clothes, skin tones, plants, and overall. So what pencil should you use? To have a consistent shading on your drawing, buy one of this. So most likely, I would recommend you to use the 0.7 lids instead of getting the 0.5 because the 0.5 is not thick enough to have a solid shade. So that's why I bought almost 10 packs of this fiber castle. So I highly recommend you buy one of this because it is good for thicker shading and line art. Also, it is so soft and probably the best for sketching. The 0.7 is also thicker enough rather than the 0.5 that I always use on my past sketches. But if you don't have a 0.7 mechanical pencil, you can just use a thicker pencil like this for a thicker hatching for your shading. And that is what I'm using all the time to shade my drawing.
So how I shade? Sometimes I use a sponge from the RTX. I use this if I want to block my sketch with a graphite powder. Also to have a less time shading using a pencil. And plus, this gives you shading with a smooth and solid texture on the paper. And these are the examples that I did on the last time. Sometimes also I use a paper stamp to blend my hatching for some tones and shadow but not too much because we want more texture in the shading. So the hatching is always on the cherry on the top. The blending is not necessarily used some cases of my sketch because I wanted to achieve something more sharper drawing. So what I'm focusing right now is to not blend my rendering. This is a great study if you want a consistent shading practice without making it surreal. So before I continue my process, let me show you my editing software that I use mainly within this video. So if you're a beginner on editing for your YouTube videos and reels, and you're always having a problem to find the perfect background music for your art videos, well, the Palmora is perfect for you. This is a professional editing software that you can use that has a great AI feature like the AI Music Generator, which is my most favorite feature in Filmora. There you can now select the theme for vlog, travel, and romance. And for the genre, there's a pop, beat, and funky, which is pretty amazing, right? So for me, my mostly favorite is more like a slow beat, laid back, and more cinematic sounds. And here's some of the samples that I generated. And if you think the music is too short, just use the AI Auto Stretch to stretch it whatever length you want. And also you can use the AI Denoise, where you can remove the ever distracting sounds so that the viewers can only focus on your voice in a crowded city. And all in that in my description below. So big thing simple Mora for making this possible. So why details are not that important? Well, the answer is that some people are just only focuses on the understanding of how the light and shadow works. This is basically the most important key of all. Because if you study this well, you will learn that the details are just only an additional feature to make your drawings more like a high quality and beautiful. So if you're a beginner and you always draw some realistic portrait, you should step back and try not to overwhelm yourself with the details. Just focus only on its shadow value and its contour and fake the details with some basic renderings with some darker shadings and simple hatching. So it is more like you're now creating an illusion in the visual eyes of your viewers. So in reality, some people, they don't care about the details you work. They only focus on how unique and stylish you work. So don't focus on the details yet, that is wrong. Because that's only works by some professional artists who work some hyper realism art, so it's probably fine. But for me, I would probably focus on the fundamentals of simplifying using the anatomy because there is so much you can choose to learn about it. So that is why I stopped creating unedited work because they are too overwhelming for me. And plus, also, I want to get out of my comfort zone to try with the different mediums and studies that I never tried before. So, yep, that's the reason why you will not see me anymore making a detailed work. So, yeah, I think that's all, folks. This is probably the last time I will be talking about on how I shade because I want to focus now on my creative process. So, maybe in the future, I will make one if I have a time. So once again, thanks for staying with me at the end of this video, and as it's always, see you for the next one. Bye!